Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Annie Marcus again and I've got a little message I want to share with you. I don't know what good it'll do but it might do some good so I don't want to take a chance on missing some just because I came up trying to be smart and refuse to give it to you. This message is I am so afraid, so ashamed of my country. You know, we, because it didn't just happen to me, here in America have been told that we are the greatest nation on the face of the earth. God bless America. And with all of the information that's been withheld, I truly believe, like so many others of us, that America is the greatest country on the face of the earth. Woo no nation had ever been blessed like America. I also used to talk about America had great responsibility because we were blessed. You know, and that message came by when we were young and when we don't study, when we all spend our time partying, spend our time even in school. They don't really give us the subjects that we need to teach us truth. They give us subjects to teach us what they need to prepare us to do for them, the powers that be. You know, as a young man, I wasn't taught that blacks used to be slaves. It took me a long time to find that out. I knew that Indians were persecuted because they put movies on TV about them, cowboys, and Indians, and Westerns. And I tell you, that has a very negative effect and a positive one as well. Positive in the sense that those who are using it actually have us believing that killing and slaughtering the Indians was for our benefit. We wouldn't have had land, we wouldn't have had a home had they not been willing to take up guns and go kill the people who really possessed this land. And we never thought about it. We just was glad they'd done it. I remember when they talked about blacks, the only place they showed blacks at was on Tarzan, running around with bones in their ears and their nose, running through the thickets after tigers and lions and monkeys and so on and so forth like that. That made you, if you were black, you definitely didn't want to have anything to do with Africa if you were in America because of the way Africans were depicted. So I grew up feeling just the same way about Africans, not black people in general, but Africans, as I felt about natives. Thank God somebody keeps us from them. Didn't know the truth. They also used to have programs on television that depicted a lot of military action. You know, they used to talk about Germany and nations that were at war. They'd always show German abusing the people. I mean, the soldiers abusing people, and I sit back, I can remember just as vividly, being so glad that I was an American, and that Americans would not do the kinds of things that German people did. They made German people look so ugly and mean and cruel, and oh, I was glad to be an American. Here I am now, <laughs> finding out that there's no difference between those same Germans, or that message that was depicted by Germans, and that by us. We torture people. We made it seem that it was wrong to torture. And now we got a record of torturing people, but we come over and change the name with some old crazy, blind, ignorant devil from the pit of hell like Dick Cheney. I mean, they're going to change it from waterboarding, from torture, enhance. <laughs> enhance investigation. Changing around because they know you're not going to go and research and see what's going on. You, you, you're going to trust your leaders, same as I did when I was young. And they have really, really made me ashamed. Look at Republicans. There's no difference between Republicans and Democrats. That's just a little setup there, a little stuff that they use so people can agree with Republicans and disagree with Democrats. And Democrats can agree with them, you know, they can disagree with the Republicans. 
So you split us and divide us, and we're not going to agree on anything. So they conquered us there. We don't have anything about unity of people coming together. That ain't happening. And yet, Republicans and Democrats say <laughs> that they're Christians. Look, that's the biggest lie I have ever heard. God prepared a man, sent him here through all of the dangers that he had to endure to protect him and come here at a later date and run for president of the United States with one interest in mind. What was that? To represent God, to represent peace, to represent prosperity, to represent joy. I, that gentleman went to homes of Republicans, homes of Democrats, and was told that we only go Democrat. We only go Republican. He went to the homes of people who were Christians. He went to the leadership, the preachers, the bishops, and they say, we're Republicans, they we're Democrats. So what about God? Oh, we use God on Sunday. <laughs> I am so ashamed to say that I am an American. And I'm almost ashamed to say that I am a human being. The only thing that gives me some validity that I can adjust and, 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 and accept is that what I'm saying to you now, I'm saying it to you because I want to inform you of what's going on. I'm 64 years old. I lived a long time. I know how you 23-year-old gentlemen and women think you guys are geniuses and smart and all of us old people are just fools. I've lived a long time and I've seen a lot. And I just want you to know, see, God wants you to know what's going on. And he's chosen some people, for which I am one, to tell you what's going on. So you won't have the excuse like, I didn't know. Yeah, you know. is that your heart is so convicted and so raunchous and evil till you don't want to know. All you want is in God we trust, a dollar bill. That's where your faith is. That's where your duty is. In God we trust. You do not give a high old ooh. There's a raccoon out there somewhere. I don't know where he is, but he's out there. He comes on my porch every now and then. You care more about that raccoon than you do God. Republicans and Democrats, let me tell you something. There is not one Christian amongst you. No, let me rephrase that. Republicans and Democrats, there might be many, many Christians amongst you. But not one of you, not one of them, got a relationship with God. All of their relationship with God as they articulated is fake. Let me look at you and I, if I can. Republicans and Democrats who say that you are a child of God, you are a lie. You are a liar. You don't even know God. All you know is what somebody has said. And you've tried to conform to a few of those principles that does not require really anything of you. So you can claim it. But I'm here to tell you right now, you are headed to straight to hell and the God that you serve is money. Money. And you are as blind as a bat. And you can't wait for another election. So you think you can beat Republicans. So you think you can destroy the Democrats. And the Democrats can't wait so they can they think they can destroy you. <laughs> and both of them are being used to destroy the people. I am so ashamed. God, please forgive me for ever loving this nation. And thank you for opening my eyes so I can see the difference between this nation and the nation I thought it was. Bye-bye.